Hi guys, so I wanted to take a second to show you how to graph in Alex. So um, I've got a question on the screen and then I also have scratch paper. So I already did the problem. The question says graph the line, negative 3x plus y equals 3. So I wrote a couple of steps over here for you to see. Um, when I'm graphing the line, I need to get it into slope intercept form. Right now this one's in standard form. So I need to undo the x terms, so add 3x to both sides. And then that's going to give me, um, in this case, slope intercept form. But if I had a number in front of y, then I would divide every single term by that number. But for this one, I then have y equals 3x plus 3. So that's my slope intercept form. Now the um, homework question just says to graph the line. It doesn't say to write slope and write the y-intercept, but if it did, you would write the slope as m equals 3 and the y-intercept as 3 or the point zero 0,3, depending on how the question's asked. Now for this one, it just asked me to graph the line. So I'm going to, I've got my steps over here, plot B. So to plot B, that's the point zero 0,3. I'm going to use the pencil tool, or you can use the plot a point. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not. So if you use plot a point, you will just type in the coordinate 0, 3, and it will plot the point for you. If you didn't have that feature, you could use the pencil. And so the pencil, I'm going to go up or go left, right, 0. So that's the x coordinate, and then up 3, and I'll plot my point. Now from there, I need a second point. So Step three, do M, rise if it's positive, fall if it's negative, then run to the right. So this one is positive three over one. So from my original, from my point that I just plot from the B, I'm going to rise three, one, two, three, run, one, put a dot. So now I have two points on my line. If you had three points, like in some of the other questions, you would just continue that out and drop your point wherever you needed. Now that I have my point sketched, I'm going to use the line tool. So it's got the little bar with the two X's on it. And I need to, it says place first point. So I need to put this X right on top of one of my points. And then I need to put the other X on top of the other point and now that's going to create my line for me.